Hello and welcome. This is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited. In this video tutorial, we will learn one awesome trick regarding uh, an issue of uh, grouping of numbers in a pivot table within Microsoft Excel application. If you have previously applied a grouping feature on uh, numbers within the pivot table, so you know that you define a starting number and an ending number and one number of, of uh, particular gaps for, for all the gaps between those slabs. So let me just do it for you. I have one HR data set and I will select this entire data and I will quickly create a pivot table. So let's say if I put the salary field into rows and again the salary field into values. So I would like to have, uh, I, I would, I want to see that how many employees are getting a salary from uh, a range of 25,000 to 50,000, uh, 25,000 each, like 0 to 25, then, then on this pivot table. So I will just right click on the raw labels field and uh, in this contextual menu, you will find a group option, right? So when you click on it, you can define a starting number. For example, I want to start with a zero and ending at, uh, let's say, 2,50,000. And the gap will be, or the range will be 25,000. And when I press OK, uh, you can see that a group from starting from uh, 25,000 till 49,999 and then it starts from 50,000 then it ends to 74,999 and then the next new number is definitely an incremental of 1 right and I want to see a number of people here so I will change it into a count right so there are 61 people who are getting Two like twenty five thousand till two like fifty thousand. All right, so these are basically uh, grouping on numbers field within pivot table in Excel. And you know that every time the ending number and the starting number is basically an increment of one, right? Now what happens uh, with one of the data set which I had regarding the sales? Uh, I selected this data and created a pivot and let me drag revenue in the rows and in the values and let's say if I apply grouping on this particular column so I say it starts with 0 and on 4000 and a, a range of 1000 for each when I press OK now you can see this that uh, it starts from 0 to 1000 then again it starts from 1000 to 2000 ending at 2000 then again it starts from 2000 to 3000 now increment of 1 so ending number and the starting number is basically same so we are not uh, sure that what kind of logic it's being applying and why this number is same it should not be so now the solution is that to do so we will insert a new column okay and uh, i will say this as revenue and i will apply the round function here and we don't need any digits and I will go to my pivot table and I will just refresh the pivot table and now this time I will add this new revenue column which I just created with a round function and I will apply the group so now you can see here this problem is now being resolved now it's starting from 0 till 999 then the new starting number is definitely a change 1000 till 1999 then it's 2000 before that it was like the ending number and the starting number were same because revenue column consists of a decimal numbers okay uh, and uh, after we uh, make another column with a round function uh, this issue gets resolved right so I hope you like this technique and uh, in future if you find this kind of situation for grouping of numbers you can resolve it easily thank you